Yeah, instead I think it's time for Rogue Survivor. Actually, it's probably really very loud. Not that this game ever gets that loud, since there's no real, no real music to it, but yeah. This is the story of... Uh, who are we even playing as here? Johnny Pitt. Johnny Pitt wakes up in uh, the shopping district C2. Uh, C2, surrounded mostly by shopping uh, districts, which is very handy. But the first thing you ever want to do in this game is make your way to the police station. Fortunately, in our case, it is in B2. So all we have to go is uh, one area to the left, and we'll be fine. Unfortunately, Zombie Master. Yeah, Zombie Master 35 already wants us dead. But the zombies themselves have not had time to level up. What are you? Okay, you're a civilian, but you don't want me dead, so that's okay. Let's just make our way over to that police station. We see a zombie, we punch a zombie, punch it twice, and it dies. Now, unfortunately, <clears throat> it is so dark right now that we can't see a thing. The heavy rain is not helping the situation. Nonetheless, it's of vital importance that we make our way to the police station, so we are just going to have to check our way around the place. So, there's a good chance you have no idea what I'm playing here. This is Rogue Survivor. It's an uh, independent game, indie game, made by Jacques something or other. Some French guy, I, I don't know. He's He kind of disappeared. So I'm not giving him the benefit of explaining his life story when playing his game here. So... It's a roguelike, you travel around, you pick up food, you try not to get killed by zombies. And I love this game. I haven't played it much recently. Heck, the last time I played it would have been the last time I streamed it, and that was God only knows how long ago. So our first task that we're wanting to do is get our way uh, over to the police station, because there's someone there that's going to help us. Okay, we survived one day. Well, survived is maybe putting it a bit much. We're really low on sleep and uh, food in our belly. Fortunately, we've got food to deal with that. And every time 12, I can't remember if it's 12 or 24 hours pass, you get to pick one skill. Charismatic, Psyche, Stamina, Light Sleeper, or Unsuspicious. These are all awful, so we're going to go with High Stamina. At least that'll allow us to run quite a bit faster when either the gangsters or the uh, zombies come after us. Okay, this looks promising. No, that's a subway station. Guess I got my uh, buildings mixed up there. Only places we haven't really looked for in, uh, in this place is to the north. I really want to get there before I get too tired to carry on some reasonable protection in a police station if only for a short while there like almost certain it's going to be beyond this area over the park there it is it's the last possible place that I could have checked but that's fine close the door behind us hope that nobody comes on in it would be nice if I could push these benches here but you cannot uh, cannot push benches let's make our way down again closing behind us so we're in the police station, the first thing we're going to want to do is get ourselves kitted out with anything we can find here. Also going to eat our food, since we're getting really famished. Now what do we have here? Anti-riot armor, but it's a bit heavy. I would rather be maneuverable than anything else. So, we have ourselves a pistol and some pistol ammo. Hopefully there is something better around here. There is not, and what I want is a shotgun. And a torch. A torch is really important. Police radio, not so much. In fact, police radios are one of the most useless items in this game. Uh, I mean, if I grabbed it... Okay, actually, it does not affect my speed. Great, we'll take the, uh, the police padded jacket. Good, a torch, that's what I'm looking for, but what I really need is a shotgun. And it's not a particularly big... Oh, or is it? Yes, it's a big flashlight. Great. Far better than a small one. And before I uh, before I get out of here, I'm going to want to sleep because my character is too tired. 
Oh, shoot. Jason Ford yells at you, give me some food. Okay, let me give you my food. Can't give it to him, he's the enemy. Okay, well, we'll just uh, drop the food and run. Okay, he shot me. Let's just close that door and wait a bit. Oh god, oh god, he's trying to kill me. Let's just close that door behind us, eat the last of our food, and run the heck away. Wow. And that almost got us killed. I'm going to wait here for just a little bit and head back up because I don't have everything that I... Oh. Well, that went extremely quickly. All because we had food on us that someone else wanted. And that was the end of Jason. Okay. That was very sad. Very sad indeed. You put the survivor in Rogue Survivor. Thanks, Lucky. We're going to give that one more shot, because I don't think we lasted five minutes there. Alright, see, this time we play as Oscar O'Brien. Now that sounds like the name of a man that can actually survive here. So we start out in C2, and we want to make our way to A2, so we're going to have to run to the right quite a bit. I wonder if the subway runs that way. Um, mm, probably not the best way to go anyway. It's not going to be any faster than the alternative. Skeletons are not a threat at all. You can just punch them to death. They don't do much damage. They don't infect you. They are just nothing. Okay, plenty of char buildings around here. I would like to stop by, do some killing, but... Now is not the time. It's more important to make our way to the police station. I suppose, really, skeletons don't make for very scary opponents. They're just bones. You punch them, they'll fall apart. Ah. Okay, these houses have already been looted. I just desperately need to find a police station again. Now, what is this? I am in A2, where the police station is, and it's a residential district, so what is this building here? Ah, it's a char facility with guards. But, I think we did better finding the police station this time, since we didn't spend all of our time running around the same area. This time we can go with uh, Hauler, which is one of the better things to level up early, since it allows you to carry more items. So there we go, we're back to where we were much faster, and we don't have any food on us, so no one is going to kill us for our food. Uh, and even better, there's a shotgun here. Shotgun and a padded jacket. All I need is a torch and some ammo. I'll grab a secondary shotgun, because, you know, don't leave your house without your shotgun and your backup shotgun. Got the big flashlight. Seriously though, some shotgun ammo would work wonders right now. I don't want to run to where I'm going to be going without ample ammunition. And ample we get. There's 20 rounds, more than what the doctor ordered. So, now for a bit of an exploit in this game, because Jake can only play with exploits, right? So, psst. Hey, you over there, the prisoner who should not be, is discreetly calling you from her cell. You listen closely. Look, I don't know what's happening. I worked down there at the Char facility. They didn't want me to leave, but I did. Okay. Basically, he's saying that uh, they really shouldn't be here, and they will tell me the location of the Char underground facility. If you don't help this person, and they starve to death in their cell, which they can, they have tons of rations, but those do eventually run out, then you will never know where it is, and you have to hunt it down manually. So we're going to open the place up, and they're going to speak to us. Thank you. The char office is behind an iron door, and it's now marked on our map, and they're going, Whoa, oh dear. And now they have transformed into one of the most dangerous creatures in the game, the zombie prince. 
and their track playing right now is called Run. They move half as fast as we do, so uh, we're, we would easily be able to outrun it, but it would cause a lot of havoc around here. So what we're going to do is push, push it back where it came. It makes a massive uh, slash into us, dealing 9 damage, 9 of our 30. But now we can close the door on it, and it dies instantly, because people die when these doors are closed. And we're going to open and close them quite a lot. And uh, at the bottom it's saying we're hearing a lot of crushing noises. Well, we also crushed all the prisoners that were around here. And those prisoners were carrying rations, so... I'm going to pick up their rations. Drop my backup shotgun, because now we have plenty of rounds. And away we go. Anything else good here? No. So, we committed a uh, mass homicide in the police department. Mm, I'm a little unsure about leaving my... F like, sleeping when I have food on my body, because someone may kill me for it. So, I'm going to drop all of our food here. Let's uh, push a desk on it. Close the door and have a little nap. Pleasant dreams. Because we're sleeping on a bench, there is a slight chance every tick that we'll gain some health, and fortunately, we lucked out there. We gained all of our health back. And our rations are untouched. Uh, also, it is sunset. That's a little dangerous. But we're going to go for it anyway. Our next destination is the hospital in B4. So down, down right. Jake, update the stream name. Yeah, I guess we're not playing faster than life. But there is no uh, rogues. Oh, there is rogue survivor. Good job, Twitch. Very good job. So yeah, down, down, right to get ourselves to the hospital. That is the most important place to go right now. And I feel very safe with this shotgun by my side. Actually, we're in a shopping district. If I find a. Uh, Okay, medical supplies are kind of useful, but I'd rather have extra shotgun shell. It's, it kind of makes me feel a bit, ugh, seeing all these civilians, because they could kill me for my food, and I wouldn't like that. Also, I'm going to double back to that uh, medical supply store, because I got infected, and I need some anti-infection pills. I can't even remember if they sell them here. Okay, I don't think so. Right, what we'll do then is drop our food for now, pick up some sanity pills. Basically, we are going full America. We're going to treat all the problems that we have with pills. We're going a bit insane, so we'll chew down all the sanity pills that we can. We're a bit hungry. Well, we have plenty of rations to deal with that. And we are a little tired, so we'll take some anti-sleeping pills. Grab the rest of our food and continue on our merry way. But I have another consideration. I think I would rather ditch my food. We'll eat it all up and drop the rest. Hungry people can have it. And if there is oh, a book that I want... What I'm looking for is a uh, rifle, because they have range that you cannot otherwise get. Also, a bear trap. I haven't tried that before, but we can give it a go. Yeah, sadly, I'm not seeing uh, a rifle here. Oh well, this'll do. We still have a shotgun and plenty of rounds for it. We need to make our way over... Uh, where are we? A4, we need to get to B4. It's a shame we don't know exactly where in the district that it is, but this will have to do. What's everyone concerned about? There's a uh, skeleton there that's hurting everyone. Oh no, it's not just a skeleton. We have Shambler 680 getting in the way. I would love to dispatch him, but uh, my ammo is going to be very uh, useful later on. Again, another day has passed, so carpentry, martial arts, Strong Psyche, strong or light feet. Sanity Threshold. No, I think I'll get Carpentry so I can actually start building uh, barricades. May come in handy. 
Jake, there was a rifle there, I think, in the last building that you went. Oh, well. Oh, what luck! The very first place we pop out at is the hospital. Now, also kind of useful, you... You have a, uh, a hunting rifle. Sadly, I doubt you're going to want anything I have, so we'll just keep going down here. Now, down here are all the patients, and because this whole zombie outbreak thing does a number on the economy, there aren't many doctors or nurses hanging around, so... Yeah, they're starving, and they're almost trapped down here. They can get out, but the AI isn't very good at that. So if I came down here with uh, food on me, I'd be like Meals on Wheels, and they'd be slaughtering me for my food. So we will not be doing that. We're going to make our way through the creepy hospital. Going further and further downstairs. Offering bandages for my medkit. That is a strictly worse deal for me. Okay. Look at all these guys. That... Uh, yellow H means they are really hungry. I think when it goes red, they are starving and they will start to uh, deteriorate in health until they die. Okay, so now we are right at the uh, the basement of the whole place and it's storage time. I wish I could grab one of these guys to come with me, but no. I'm going to have to just make our way across. Make our way across. This is kind of dangerous going down here at this time. Oh! Yeah, this is why it's dangerous. Hello, Jason Myers. Let's run slightly. Jason Myers says, Barn Buster. Okay, now Jason has to die. Unfortunately, he is a little bit too far away for us. And he runs pretty fast and I apparently cannot shoot to save my life. I've missed three times now. Little by little you die. I was crawling. Haha. -ha. Shh. Silence. Do you smell? Wow. Okay. So I've been able to hit him once so far. One out of five. I am no good with my gun. Okay. Need better luck than this. Holy crivens, I can't hit him to save my life. Whoa, okay, right, he is dead now. It only took something like uh, 11 shotgun rounds. Yeah, he really hurt me badly there, so use our medikit to get a bit of our health back. Deals with a bit of our infection too. Taking his axe, though, could be handy. And away we go. No need to worry anymore. Ah, seems he's already butchered someone down here. I need to get back here to turn all the electricity on in the hospital. Goodness knows why it was turned off. Oh, and I can also bump into these activated generators to fill up my large flashlight. Scrub harder, Jake. You can't co conquer post-apocalyptic America like that. Okay, now we will not sleep down here. Also... Okay, iron fences cannot be broken. Good to know. Now, we travel along here. We notice these uh, dead bodies. Corpse looks fresh. Oh, it's Jason Myers, of course. Well, let's butcher it completely, because we don't want it getting back up and killing us. Butchering corpses does a number on your stability. You don't want to do it all that often. However... Where we are now is uh, really one of the greatest places because there's only one way in. Okay, bear with me, that doesn't sound great and I know it. Oh shoot, you, you! I'm gonna have to kill you. Uh, if I can just remember how, how do I hit people? Um. Attacking? I think I have to make someone an enemy? 
mark enemy, defeat default control E. I'm sorry, but you have to die. I have become the Jason Myers now. Not enough stamina to attack? Try that. Okay, so they exploded into bits. Uh, but they were carrying anti-infection pills. Think I'll be chewing on that for a bit. And your food, thank you kindly. Uh, I don't think that corpse is going to rise up, mostly because... Well, it died by me, so it wasn't infected. Oops. That was not what I intended to do. There we go. Now it's completely barricaded. In. Unless any zombies smell me down here, I'm fairly safe. And now I get to... Uh, hmm. I think I'll designate this as my hidey hole. Hmm, is that right? No, it's probably better to be here, because then I can see everything and still be alright. So, let's destroy this door. Yeah, we hate doors. <clears throat> Grab everything we can, and push these out of here. The idea is to make a, a little barricade. There we go. This becomes our new home, and in our new home, the first thing we do is we hate shelves, so we break them down. Okay, we're getting sleepy, but that's fine. And now we get to be super autistic about how we uh, sort things out. Now, we know there's nobody else here. We have seen no sign. Okay, maybe saying we know that is a bit of a push, but we can be fairly confident that there's no one else around here. So we will drop weaponry over in this corner. The light rifle bullets are fairly useless, so ditch them over outside. I kind of like this bear trap. But... Let's just drop it there. Yeah, I don't think it's activated. Gather up. Uh, I don't know. Building materials can go here. Drugs can go in the bottom right, food can go in these two. Little drugs and medical things there. And misc can go here. And now we enjoy our spoils. The most important things that I really want here are food and sanity pills. I suppose health kits are kind of good. I want a good stock of those. I think I hear Jason Myers in the background. Okay, we'll take a quick nap. I'm sure we'll be safe, but we'll close our door just in case. Sweet dreams. Tough, charismatic, agile, light feet, and hauler. As I said, hauler is the skill to have. Hmm. We wake up. Oh, we're too hungry to sleep now. Yeah, we've all been there. Let's grab some chow. Chow down. Actually, that barely even touched the sides. Trouble is, we're not a light eater. At all. That's an actual uh, skill, and we don't have any of it. Let's close that door again and go back to sleep. Yeah, we're woken up in the middle of the night of hunger. Oscar O'Brien has. So yes, in this game, I suppose I haven't really been explaining much about this game. I know it so well, but I uh, haven't been explaining it. So food. Food rots. There are lots of groceries at the start of the game, but they will rot in a couple of days. There are army rations that uh, military forces that come into the city, they'll have them. You can also find them in certain rare areas. Uh, they will rot after about a week. Canned food lasts forever. So we like canned food. And there's loads of it down here. Okay, we have a little eye there, meaning that we're a bit disturbed, a bit cookie in the head. Fortunately, there are these pills. Let's chew them down. Unfortunately, they don't do anything for your hunger. Now let's chew those uh, sleeping pills down as well, because I don't want to fall asleep whilst I'm harvesting everything I can from this place. 
There we go. So this row is completely um, raided. Ugh, raiding makes it sound like I'm the bad guy here. It has been uh, liberated, I suppose. Can't believe I missed some food here. Ditch it, and we're good. We're completely uninfected. Our sanity is a little low, but ugh, what you gonna do? And nobody's attempted to break down these shelves. This one has a bit of a hit, but that's because I hit it. Shame on me. Oh yeah, this body here. Well, I still don't like it being here, so we're going to butcher it anyway. There we go, all gone. How does one even butcher a body with their bare hands in the corner of a room? Probably better not to think about. As I said, importantly, we grab the food. Now our stats here are our health, obviously we run out of that we die. Our stamina, used for running and uh, attacking with melee weapons. Food, you need to be above the bar to sleep. And if you drop too low you start taking damage until you die. Uh, sleep, very handy, because you will just fall asleep when you run out of it. And it'll make you unable to do certain actions, like running. Sanity, you will actually start losing control of your character if that runs too low. They will wake up in the middle of the night screaming, things like that. You know how it is. And then there's infection, which will start making you really sick if it gets uh, high. And I believe it can uh, turn you into a zombie. The higher it is, the more likely you are to turn into a zombie when you die. So, there we go. We've ransacked this place as hard as we can. Unfortunately, we haven't had any light eater. Jake, there's no food in the... F oh, there's more food in that first room in the other... Yeah, yeah. Okay, none of this is particularly useful except maybe Hardy. Unsuspicious might be good because I killed someone in, uh, just for what they had. Now policemen will probably want to kill me if they see me. However, I don't think there are going to be many police officers alive when I come out of this place. Alright, let's not skimp on the sanity pills. I brought one book down here with me. Probably find before too long that that isn't very much. Okay, again, we are hungry. It is a travesty that we did not get Light Eater. Oh, this place. Let's chow down some of our insanity pills. Grab the food. And make our way back. Now, zombies can smell you because when you go around, you leave... Um, it's invisible to you, but you leave like a heat spot. And they will follow that to where you are. But the smell dissipates after a while, depending on how uh, rainy it is. Not sure if that affects you when you're indoors. Um, unless you have Stench Killer, which completely removes that. So uh, Stench Killer is great at helping you avoid enemies. And zombies just completely lose track of you. I wonder if there's still the bug where if you drop something like this, you just lose it. Yes, yes there is. Okay, let's not do that then. Just leave it out here. And we have a book. A book we can read to regain a lot of sanity. And there's a 5% chance you'll find it boring after you uh, finish reading it. So, now what happens? Now we get ready to chow down. We eat and we sleep. We well and truly live the dream. I hear lack of sanity makes you watch DDR streams. Yep. That I can believe. And now we can just kind of wait till, till time passes. And this is how... Oh, excellent. Light Eater is precisely what we want. Makes your food go a long way. So we chow down, get that food back up, wait until we're tired, sleep until we're hungry. And this is like... Um, I'm not even sure if it's really an exploit in the game, but it's a way to get your character super leveled, and levels really mean everything here. Again, Light Eater. We, that is uh, priority one right now, because it means the food that we do have here will last us so much longer. Uh, we've got a fair chunk of food. Uh, we need to get that sanity of ours back though, so we read our book and pray that it doesn't get boring, otherwise we have to rely on the drugs. Got no problem relying on the drugs, but they are limited. So we sleep, we wait, and we gain our free levels. 
Carpentry, Charisma, Light Feet, High Stamina, Firearms. We're going for those firearms because as our uh, skirmish with Jason Myers showed us, we can't shoot to literally save our lives. The most riveting sleep gameplay. Ah. So I think for some people in the world, this is just like ideal. You sit, you talk to no one, you just get to read and eat food. And we're getting pretty lucky this book is not boring. It must be like 50 shades of gray skin or something. I don't know. Sleep when you want, eat what you want, when you want rather. We can't eat that body in the middle of the room. We butchered it too much. And somehow level up. So we must be doing some working out here. Even better. We get light each up to level 3. I think it goes all the way to level 5. And we grab an achievement. Congratulations, you survived today seven. Keep staying alive. One out of eight achievements. Not bad, but we're going for the big fish in this one. If Oscar O'Brien can uh, can do well here, then we're going all the way. This is some uh, great music. I don't want to fall asleep because it will overwrite it. So I'll just wait instead. Pressing W waits for 60 ticks. Okay, 30 ticks. 30 ticks is one hour. Heck, I don't even want to have to uh, sleep to get rid of this music, but I don't have any anti-sleep pills. Let's have a quick look. We have the power of clairvoyance. We can actually see if there's blood stains out here, so uh, that would be a giveaway that uh, humans and or zombies have been down here. Of course, only if there was conflict going with that. So we'll chew down our sleeping pills instead of uh, sleeping, because I don't want to get rid of this cool music. Oh, well, leveling up will do that anyway. Bows, Psyche, Toughness, Stamina, or Medic. Right, we need Toughness, because uh, being at 30 health is like asking to die. And I believe there were some bandages out here as well. Three of them, two health a pop. I'll go for it. Yeah, it's only like a few more minutes of being down here, probably. If Aristocrat was here, I'd tell him ten more minutes. And he is here. Happy, happy days. Okay, getting insane again, so we'll read more of our book. And it's still not boring. It really is... Uh that is a real boon, though, because if that book got boring, we'd be in trouble, even though we have plenty of food. Right, hardy, martial arts, bows, charismatic, but tough. Tough is what we want, because otherwise, yeah, we die, and I don't want that at all. Now, I never shut the door out uh, in my room. I'm just trusting that no one's going to be coming here. But the thing is, they'd have to bash down these... Uh, barricades that I've made. It's not even barricades, these are just, um, yeah, what's even the word for these? Shelves. But yeah, zombies would come in and try to break them down and that would alert me to their presence. Possibly. It would be more likely to alert me if I had light sleeper, but there are more important things to level up in the early game. Like the ability to eat. I mean, light eater all the way to four? That's amazing. Even though firearms is an option, I'd rather get that light eater strat, uh, Stat up so this food can last me a long, long time. Jake warriors do not read books. Does Oscar O'Brien really look like a warrior? He shot dead someone with mental disabilities and then used that person's axe to kill someone else just because he didn't want them in his special little hideout. No, we are no warrior. Or maybe we are just like a warrior from the Katakutai because we certainly do not fight with honor. Once all this food is depleted, we can begin something of a pilgrimage. I want hardy, but I'm not sure if I want it as much as I want firearms. Now we'll take hardy. I'd rather, you know... S oh, shoot. Hardy isn't what I thought it was. Ah, well. That was like a throwaway then. Hardy means that when we sleep, no matter where we are, there's a chance we can get our health back. And that, health go that chance of getting health goes up higher 
depending on our hardy skill. So we don't need to sleep in a bench or something. We can sleep in the floor. We can sleep in the sewer. And we will still get our health back. Yeah, there's a sewer. Okay, this is the last of our food. Read our book. The book has been so good to us. We did not deserve this. Duly not deserved. And wow, we can even max out Light Eater. Watching the most exciting button masher and listening to excellent life advice on Twitch. Uh, if you're here for the uh, EU4 stream, which makes you truly the insane one, then it'll start when I die. Because I won't be restarting after all this. Yeah, and this is the point where like I leave this place instantly, get shot dead for my food again. These book, the well, this one book that I'm reading is teaching me a lot of uh, very handy skills. Martial arts. Well, I don't fight unarmed. I think I'd rather have high stamina, just so that. Hmm. No, agile gives me defense, which is super useful. Defense actually affects your ability to dodge attacks. Not your ability to tank hits. Again, going a little insane. But the book is still not boring. It's absurd luck. It's like more lucky than getting... Uh, revolutionary rebels by taking aristocracy. Firearms, light sleeper, light feet, hardy, or... My stamina. No, we need we need those firearms. Congratulations. Survive 14 days. One more cycle should do it. Wait it out. Read that book so we don't go insane. And then sleep it off. Carpentry, hardy, medic, light sleeper, and awake. Awake is actually really handy, and we haven't seen it yet. Awake means you can go a lot longer without having to sleep. And I think the total amount of sleep you can bank is, uh, it goes really high. So at maximum sleep, we can go for 35 hours before we start collapsing. Still, that's not exactly a great amount. Alright, let's gather up our things and get out of here. Let's finish off that book. I don't think we'll need it anymore, so we'll ditch it. Otherwise, I want the axe, the shotgun, the ammo for the shotgun. Medic. Um, better make it triple medic. Stench killer is nice and all, but no thanks. And the flashlight. I love having the flashlight. Let's go out and see what has happened to the world. We're going to leave this... Um, this place down here, though, as it is, we may be coming back here. The corpse of Nurse Lucia Anderson turns into dust. So after being stuck down here for two weeks, everyone here starved to death. Now, I don't know how long corpses can last inside buildings, but for them to turn to dust before my very eyes, it's a little disturbing. I just check in the rooms. I don't ex actually expect there to be anything, but there might be. And the lights are on now. You may have noticed when we came through here to begin with, we couldn't see anything. We turned on the lights in the generator, so now we can see. Hey Jake, what's the point in having to do punishment games if you keep running from them? I'll be doing a punishment game this weekend. I'll have to roll it as well. Oh, what luck! We found some uh, expired food. Expired is not the same as rotten, so it's still edible. We chew it down, it just doesn't give us that much health back. What does the world have for us? So, we've stepped out. We are in B4, and we were told about the Char Underground Facility over in Delta 4. So, well, I see no reason not to go there. Hey, skeleton. Slash. Now, Jason's axe is one of the greatest weapons in the game. It just kills everything it touches within reason. I would still rather have a firearm with some range. And uh, an army rifle is a great weapon. A 
the trouble with it is that uh, finding ammo for it can be a bit tricky. Let's chew down what few sleeping pills we have, drop them and pick up some ammo. Because I believe we should be able to find a, uh, a rifle around here. I mean, we are in a shopping district. There's bound to be a gun store around here. <laughs> These are the corpses of a, uh, a whole bunch of bikers. Including a... Uh, hell. They are the Hell Souls bikers. Okay, so our first encounter with something that we want to kill. And it's Zombie Master 601. Get over here. Take another step forward. Well, actually, I can reload whilst you're stepping forward. And I'm just gonna chop off your head. The zombies come. And the zombies... They're slightly slower than me. They all die. Let's keep on going. Now, I really, really want... Oh, jeez. There are rather a few of them. Let's not... Uh, let's not try getting ourselves killed as soon as we step out, but let us find a gun store full of ammunition, but I'm actually looking for the rifle itself, and there it is. Good enough reason to ditch our shotgun. Well, I suppose we could do a bit of killing with the shotgun first. You know, just to really get in the mood. Where were those zombies that were chasing us? Eat it. You get score for making uh, successful kills. Score is meaningless. One could even say it's just a number. Okay. Shotgun's incredibly powerful, but the range is far too low to be particularly useful. And when you pick up uh, ammo for it, you only get uh, 10 rounds. Whereas you pick up a rifle, hold 7 at a time, and one ammo box is 14 rounds. Crossbow bolts are even better. You get 30 a pop, but... As with everything, it does have a drawback. It's a completely separate skill to use crossbows. Very useful to get it all the way up. But quite an investment. I'd rather have the general firearms ability which covers all the weapons. Now, yeah, a little dangerous to take the, uh, the streets. We could go via the sewers. And the sewers should take us quite the way there. But the sewers themselves have their own problems. And those problems are zombie rats. Zombie rats have an amazing way of ripping you to pieces because they can attack and drain your stamina and they're so hard to squish. At least we have a flashlight so we can check this area out. Canned food that you find in the sewers? Heck, I'm gonna eat it. Okay, we also got followed down here by... Uh, Dustin Carter's zombie. It's slow and it has about 70 hit points, but we should be able to pop, pop, and how much health you got left now? Finish them off with the axe. Squish the rat. Now this flashlight is only going to last us seven hours down here, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right, zombie rat, pop. Must be some big rats if you can shoot them uh, so confidently with a rifle. I've only been shooting once, so I can't really comment on uh, how easy it is to fire against rats. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez, there are loads of them. Shame we can't eat them. You move around with the number pad, so I'm kind of like throwing my arm around the place because you also want to be able to use the mouse. So, we've got a big flashlight, may as well ditch the one we have now and grab it so uh, it's got a full battery. Jake, how much till Africa? Uh, you're probably safe getting a shower right now. I don't know how long this is going to last. But it'll last until I die, and I don't plan on dying that quickly. Because I'm a killing machine here. Okay, so a shambler's followed us down here as well. Shamblers are very slow. Their attack is so-so, and their defense is equally so-so, but okay. This is where things might start getting a little tricky. Because now, I'm surrounded by zombie rats. Let's finish them off with the axe. Conserve that ammo. 
proceed. Now there is something you can encounter in the sewers. It's just known as the thing. I've never seen it. But I would like to. Alright, we survived another night in the stinking sewers. Necrology, martial arts, medic, strong or charismatic? Hmm. It's probably kind of good to have the strong so we can put some use into that... Uh but charismatic stacks well with leadership, which I don't have, but I would get if it came up. Hmm. You know, we'll go charismatic in the hope that we get leadership. All right, welcome to tomorrow. The weather is getting worse. At least it's sunrise, so I can go outside and not have any problem seeing. Oh, shoot. Squish the rats. Now, the rats shouldn't hurt me much, but they can still be a problem. Mostly if they surround you, though. Switch to the rifle just so we can murder the rats. Ugh, shambler, I uh, don't have the time for you here. And you are severely testing the limits of my ammo. Okay, another large flashlight. Let's grab it and turn it on. Because if our battery ran out... Oh, here we go. Ellie Quinn's a zombie, a zombified man. And judging by his get, out, get up, he used to be a gangster. Well, we can put him out of his misery. I guess you can step back. So really, the threat of zombies is when they come in droves and surround you. Or when you find like a particularly high-leveled one. But that's more of a rarity. Alright, so, there we go. Like, uh, the rat just bit me for one damage. Hardly anything to go crying about. But imagine getting surrounded by several rats. That's why I'm killing anyone that I see. Alright, let's go and get some fresh air. No, no, not sleep. Fresh air. Wake up and smell the zombies. Zombie masters have tons of hit points. But if I can clear these guys out, there is plenty of food there with my name on it. And some bullets. Zombie masters move at half speed. Shamblers also at half speed. He's a dark-eyed shambler, so he's better than most. However, heavy rain means my gun has a high probability of jamming. So it's probably better that we just try and give them the slip here. Oh, oh dear. Now there is one great disadvantage to the, uh, the staying in the hotel strategy. And that is, because we're not out there killing zombies and uh, bonding with other zombie killers. The zombies just go on a rampage, and when zombies kill lots, they evolve. Zombie Master became Zombie Prince. And this guy here is a male neophyte. A very advanced... Pardon me, zombie. Decent health, massive amounts of damage. And uh, he can get even stronger, I'm led to believe. So we need to run. Oh, and a zombie rat is following me as well. Squish it with the axe, because that thing could really slow me down. Otherwise, we have got to go. Hmm. And now we've run into Elton Vance, who yells at me, Hey, that's some nice anti-riot armor you've got there. Gangsters like to steal your stuff. I'm just going to have to run past them. Oh, God. He gave me a bit of a bashing there. Thankfully for me... I was able to jump over this car here and get behind them, and now they're getting distracted by the male neophyte. These guys are armed with baseball bats. They also have some food that I wouldn't mind picking from them. But first off, I need to bandage myself up. And, uh... Actually, there is only death awaiting me here, just like this guy. Although, let's not say no to some free bullets on the ground. Jake, why are you going through the sewers, not through the roads? For adventure. I've covered plenty of roads in my time. Okay. This is a char office. Normally there are guards here that will shoot you on sight with shotguns. However, for better or for worse, someone has already come in and killed everything. And his name is Dark Shambler, 1900. 
decent amount of health, but he seems to be on his own. So let's just take it easy. Aim our weapons. Now he's even blocked by these cars. He makes his way around it, but only to be greeted with axe. Oh shoot. Zombie Master is still on the prowl. And I'm on the menu. Oh, not only that, but there's a very big skeleton behind me. What are you at? 15 health? Let me ax you a question. Shoot that skeleton behind us, and we're good to go. Now, I really... Ugh. Hopefully they killed that neophyte. The Hopefully the gangsters, rather. Killed the neophyte. Because that guy would be a real problem if he caught me here. There's no uh, useful exit nearby. Killing everything comes our way. Sure, we're leading our way through the ammo. Ugh, another one. Come on, then. Got a whole bunch of bullets for you. In fact, probably uh, these bullets are ringing out like alarm bells, because now everybody and their zombified mother is coming here to take a bite. Fortunately, we're prepared for this. Slice and dice. Okay. Ugh, still more of them. If we can clear them out, we can have a pretty happy investigation of this area. However, now I see that the neophyte is there. And Shambler and Zombie Master. You know what? Let's make a hasty retreat out of this suburb. I want to investigate that building, but there are many others like it. And that Char Underground facility is here in D4. It's at, uh, the coordinates are here three, four, but they never seem to match up with what we have here. So we will actually just have to investigate. Uh, what do we have here? An army pistol. We have the space for it, so we may as well pick it up. But it looks like we have more gangsters here. I think I'll just leave them to their own devices. Because gangsters sometimes have pistols. And they're not the strongest of things, but uh, if you get shot a few times by a pistol, you will die. There's also the potential to take a nap here, because I'm getting pretty tired. It's already afternoon. Don't think we need this light anymore. It's running out of juice anyway. So we're going to push some broken cars in the uh, into the way. So it's very exhausting to do so, but there appears to be no threat around here. So. What I do is I wait, because it costs something like, a, I don't know, 100 stamina to push a car. Push car there. Yeah, tons of stamina. <laughs> when you're low on stamina, you run at two-thirds the speed. Which, probably don't have to tell you, is no good. So we're going to push the car in the way. Some zombies can get past that. Some zombies can even push cars. That's a bit terrifying. But now we're in here. There is a chance a zombie could follow our scent. But we are ready for such things. These uh, these types of buildings, the one that I'm in, usually are full of chairs, but the chairs have been broken down into handy bits of lumber. Lumber which we now collect, and we uh, desperately try to remember how to build barricades. Desperately try to remember how to build barricades. H for help. Building fortifications, control Large one, control N. Okay, control N, barricade, go. There we go, we are now barricaded inside. Let's take a nap. Alright, not bad. We were able to regain all of our sleep, and we should be able to go for another 17 hours. It's funny, I swear it said like 60 hours last time. Uh, you can't move these barricades, you can't get through them. You just have to break them down. And uh, yeah, they have a decent amount of health, as much as the shelving did. This is actually a really good location, because it now has a car in the way, which blocks most standard zombies. And even if a big zombie came in, they would also have to get through the barricades. So the carricade and the barricade keeps us fairly safe there. Sadly, it is deep night, but we took a long nap, so soon it will be daybreak. Hopefully quite soon, because this is a little terrifying. Truncheon, attack 2, damage 2, axe, attack 14, damage 14. Yep, I think I know which one I'm going with. 
Okay, don't want to be dealing with the zombies right now. Alright, we've made it to daybreak, which means yet another uh, skill for us. Strong Psyche might be good because our sanity is dribbling away here. But Strong itself is rather good. Necrology means we do more damage to the undeads and their corpses. And we get data on corpses, so we'll know whether or not they're going to rise up again. Mm. But I do like doing melee, so Strong is kind of useful. Oh, we'll go Necrology, since we are a one-man zombie killing machine. So I want to look at Zombie Master here. I'm fairly certain, yeah, Zombie Masters can climb over cars. But they can't push them. I believe that's what Zombie Princes can do. Okay, plenty of undead around here. And, uh, oh, some fresh groceries. Pick it all up and jump away. That zombie really wants a taste of me. When you tap R to run, you run considerably faster, so you can use that to your advantage, get around zombies like this. Shamblers, I don't think they can get around uh, the cars. So, lock and load, because so we want the shambler off of our case. One unfortunate thing is the zombies are probably going to be smelling us out right now. Yeah, one good thing about being faster than a zombie is that you can kind of move back, hit them, and keep moving back. Found some sanity pills, may as well chew them all up. Keep some food on you. In fact, we're going to chew down some of this food. It expires on day 18, hour 4. We're on day 17 right now. We'll eat it anyway because we want to be full and ready for all that is going to ail us. Didn't even see that zombie, but the last thing he saw was my axe. Okay, as expected, zombie uh, prince has made his way here. But we can give these guys the slip. The zombie is ever so slightly faster. I think he has like 0 0.66. Zombie master or zombie whatever has 0 0.5. Now we're in a bit of a pickle. Uh, zombie master 831 has evolved into a zombie prince. And he also wants to eat us. We'll let them get a bit closer. And then we run like heck. We're able to run for longer because our stamina is good. But there are far too many zombies here for us to investigate safely at least again the shambler comes near us and we just kind of run around him I know these buildings are not where the char underground facility is because the char underground facility buildings have two um, their doors are too wide not too as in too much just too as in uh, there are two door tiles one two using my superior range to shoot the zombies down there. Unfortunately I got a jam in my weapon, that's because it's raining really hard. So we're just going to run down and holy smokes it is zombie o'clock around here. Mm. Mm, and our stamina is pathetic. Okay, let's beat the hastiest of retreats. And I'll punch that zombie to death. Okay. He has a thing or two to say about that. Right, here we go. The red skeletons are even faster than me. And although I'm exhausted... No, I can't use my axe here. I'm too exhausted for that. I'm just going to shoot him dead. Skeletons are very fragile. Okay, a survivor. Not only a survivor, but a policeman as well. They're going to die, but they will make an excellent uh, distraction. Whilst I reload, take steady aim, and pop. Bloomin' pop. Okay, yeah, they just outnumber us far too much. Let's reload. This, uh, this individual is even hungry. Okay, grab, grab anything and everything we can find on the streets. Yeah, including food, even though we're not that hungry. I'm going to chew it down. Make sure we have full, uh, full sleep bar. Now hopefully all the zombies are too interested in the other guys, so let's have a look down here. Maybe there's something handy down in the basement here. Like, I don't know, lots of bullets? No, there is not. Only death awaits me everywhere I go. And I only have 15 turns of light left. One thing I'm interested in now is where is the subway? It's at 2, so we'd have to go 2 north to check it out. That's a little bit too out of my way. 
Okay, these guys are doing all right. They might be hungry, and I may have food, but I also have gun, and they do not have gun. I don't think they're so hungry that they're going to be um, killing me for my items here. <coughs> Ten shotgun shells. I am almost to the point of being desperate for that. Okay, skeleton. He's a fully red skeleton, and he is uh, twice as fast as me. Can't have him existing. So, into fertilizer he goes. All right, we're looking all right-ish, except for the extraordinary lack of bullet. So, attack zombie master. Wow, they scored the uh, the winning hit. No, 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 get away from me. The civilian got in my way and led to me taking a hit from zombie master. I nudged into them, which meant we did a uh, a trade offer, and they don't really have anything I want. Actually, light rifle bullets I'm interested in. You offer me light rifle bullets for canned food. You know what? Yes. And with these bullets, I will kill you and take... No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that heartless. She's more useful to me li alive. Okay, oh, and speaking of useful, there's a big flashlight with a lot more battery than we have. Thank you, please. Okay, don't know what we could find here, but there's possibility of a um, a char guard. The possibility is extremely low. In fact, it might even be none. Black Ops GPS is unfortunately something I am going to always have to have on me now because Black Ops, when they come in, they will hunt and kill you with precision rifles from like half the map away. You won't see them, but they will see you. So you need to be ready for that. Oh, also, I need to uh, use this medikit because it cures some of my uh, infection as well. Alright, so we're looking okay. What do we have here as well? Z-Tracker. I don't even actually know what that does. So we can be greedy enough. We can eat our f eat any food we find here, even if we're not that hungry. The real booty would be if we find the Char Underground Facility or some grenades. But that is not to be found here. Jake, is there an end game here? Yes, there is. Hold on, what is this? Ah! Achievement. You have found the Char Underground Facility. Congratulations. Where is the light switch? This is an extremely dangerous place to be when you do not have stench killer, you do not have allies, and you do not have military grade building uh, weapons. Let's just have a quick look and see what there is here. Okay, we also... We have a large flashlight. We'll also double check on our Black Ops GPS. No Black Ops here, so we can ditch it. Uh, I don't also... Th I also think the army pistol is going to be a bit useless here. So, this is the Char Underground Facility. This is uh, the end game. Full of zombies. I think it's full of guards if you come here early in the game, but they have all starved to death or been killed by their creations. Creations like Dark Shambler here. Now, fortunately, we're full of stamina and we're not tired at all. And there's still canned food waiting for us. Oh, yeah. This is why I carry the axe. Extremely good in a pinch, even though axe, even though it is very cumbersome to use. Skeletons here, there, and everywhere. The real trouble is when you start running into zombie princes around here. Now you need to get to the four corners of this map in order to complete it. I sounded a bit strange when I said complete. That's because, well, I guess you'll see. We'll be treading carefully here. It's very unfortunate that I have such low battery power, but I'm talking about my torch in the game here. Here we go. This, and it's one of the better things they added to this game because I did follow its development. You can just nudge yourself into a uh, power source and you will uh, refill the battery on your equipped item. Okay, now this is the problem I'm talking about. Zombie Master. Full of health, not that fast, 
but still a problem. Now I am missing out on a little trick here. Well, not a trick. That's not a not a word to use. Say a uh, word to use at all. But I should be breaking things that I find. Ugh, too weak to break these down. There we go. I want planks so that I can make barricades in a hurry. Fortunately, these chairs are all sitting here saying, please turn me into barricade material. To which I will oblige. Can't remember how many of these guys are smart enough to open doors or... Oh, jeez. That skeleton's going to come at me. But he's, he's twice as fast as me, so there we go. I made one tile of movement, he made two. Can you climb on chairs? No, you have to break chairs, that's kind of useful. I can actually use you to break furniture around here. Whilst I pick up the spoils and run the hell away. Oh, nicey. Also broke down plenty around here. And then I erect... What was it again? Control N. Large fortification right there. Blocks them away. They will break that down. But that'll take them a little bit of time. Unfortunately... Okay. Replace a little bit of time with almost no time. Yes. Unfortunately, I am already very tired down here. I really hope I find a supply cupboard. Oh, this doesn't really count. Again, let's just get those big-ass fortifications behind us so we don't have to worry too much. Oh, and this guy's saying, you thought you were safe, you're stuck here with me. Alright, let's put that new gun we found to use. Pop, pop. The rest, Jason Meyer's axe can take care of. Yikes. Oh, I do have sleeping pills with me. And also that barricade I built was destroyed by one of the most terrifying things that could destroy it. Okay, change of plan. Equip gun. Kill this guy. Hopefully... Hopefully I can deal 25 damage in one pop. I cannot, but two will have to do. Okay. So the game says, I heard you were terrified of running into zombie princes. Have a load of them. Okay, right, we have a slight option here, if we have the stamina. We're going to push this in their way. It'll take them not very long to break through it. But not very long is just long enough. Let's barricade that thing. No, uh, B for barricade? There we go. Slightly barricade that. And yeah, pick up anything. Oh, five grenades! Holy smokes, that I want a lot. Hmm, but I'm very limited in things I can throw away. Let's just eat our, uh, eat our groceries, grab it and go. Tough to give me more hit points, firearms to make my firearms better. Awake to keep me awake. All three of those great ideas. In fact, everything here is something that I want right now. Tough won't help me though if I'm already battered and bruised. Firearms won't help me if I don't have much gun. High stamina, because being able to run is probably going to save me right now. Let's grab the opportunity to eat some sleeping pills here whilst they uh, consider what to do about my barricade. That's good. And our torch is running out again, so it never rains, but it. Oh crap! It's a char guard! And he has a shotgun with 15 shells. But he can't see me, and I can see him, so I hope he likes axe. Oh, he saw me. Whew, thank goodness. I got a couple lucky hits in there before he even shot me. So, he very dead. Did I even break his armor with that hit? That was very unkind to him. Okay, another char guard. We're just going to sneak up, 
kill him in his sleep. Uh, how do I do that again? I need to... Shift E, make enemy. Mark him my enemy. Then kill him. He even had some grenades. Wow. He would be in it. He would have been a terrifying guy to have to fight. Gonna drop our gun, pick up some more ammo, and away we go. Jake, that isn't how sleeping pills work. They are in my zombie-filled world. <laughs> Five grenades, time to go fishing. Um, severely amused that you remember that. Okay, our flashlight has ran out. That's scary. I really hope there are no char guards waiting around here. What is this? It's another Black Ops GPS, but they're... Touch wood should not be any black ops around here. There's also more ammo. Torn for the things that I want to carry on me right now. You know, there tends to be plenty of food here. I can pick up more if I'm that desperate. We'll carry the ammo for now. And we're going to pick up some more uh, barricade materials too. Okay, so we've made it here. We can now activate all the energy and bump into it. To get our uh, torch back up to full. Oh, hello, zombie master. I see you have full health. Um, hmm. Get over here whilst I... Oh, it's your friend. Oh, shoot. Sure wish I had health right now. Okay, grenade time. Throw with F. Fuse is two turns, blast radius is two. Let's throw it here. One, two, yeah, okay, there you go. Fire in the hole. Boom. Didn't do that much damage. But if I was caught in that, I would be... Uh, Rather hurt a lot. Alright, let's keep throwing them. Good. We need more of that. Are they gone yet? Fire in the goddamn hole! Hopefully what's left of him can be picked off with this. Grenades are very powerful. Don't think you need me to tell you that now. They're also one of the rarest weapons in the game. Let's just pick off everything that's coming our way. Because I'm sure they held those explosions like dinner bells. I'm out of ammo now. Can't be good. If anything, it's a sign to start using my axe. And of course, let's pick up some backup grenades. So yeah, Zombie Prince is one of the most terrifying enemies in the game, and I blew them all up with explosives. Terrifying power of grenades. Now, if you get caught up in a grenade, you almost certainly will die. The center does 120, and it does, I think, 60, then 40 in its radius. Jake, time to leave this place. Nope. We have to do all four corners of it, and then we are... Uh... That's actually game over. No, that's not true. Game over is when the game ends, but what I'm saying is uh, you get congratulated on your ability to win the game and then the developer apologizes for not making more content. I don't know where the developer is. He might be dead. Certainly have not heard from him. Like He went to start a new project and then he was gone, so either he was too mortified at not making progress on his new project or uh, he just all ultimately gave up. Alright, so thankfully, it's now just one zombie prince instead of half a dozen of them. Let's pop him down and take care of his little buddy as well. Okay, his buddies. Let's just close that door and uh, barricade it up so we don't have to get chased down too hard. Grab the axe and carry on our merry way. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, oh, no, we can get through here. Now, even though I'm putting all this... <coughs> I'm putting all this distance between myself and the zombies, uh, they can still see me. Not where I currently am, but they see my smell. 
and follow that, since I did not bring any stench uh, killer with me. Stench killer is amazing. You should really bring that with you here. But didn't have any to hand. Okay, so we found like all the uh, industrial items here. I could really do with some health items because I am sitting at uh, a hair above half health. Yeah, fortunately, that guy didn't hit me. But if we just power on through it, we might just be able to... Uh, I feel sick and weak. Yeah, I've been infected because I've been hit too much. That will rob me of stamina initially, but as it gets worse, I'll start losing health. And uh, I'm not sure if you can black out entirely, but it gets very not pretty very fast. Is Jake in Pizza Hut? They must have left in a hurry because they dropped the tomato one. Oh, right. Yeah, plenty of blood in this game. As time passes, it passes everywhere in the game. Okay, sick and weak. You see the big chunk of uh, stamina that that took off of me. If I was trying to run away from enemies right now and I got that, that would be awful. Oh. <laughs> yes, awful indeed. Whoa, okay, forget all of those guys. Wow, three damage from a skeleton. That is spooky. That needs barricaded because it's going down. Oh, it's already down. Oh, snap. Wow, whoa, he's butchering me. All right. Not impressed at being followed here, so let's just put up a big old barricade, grab another four planks of wood, and carry on. I was really hoping I would find some health by now. Really hoping. Oh! Ask and the good lord giveth. Takes us down below the, well, either below or on the infection threshold. There's also some sanity pills, but actually killing enemies restores sanity. So we do want that. Let's also eat these uh, mysterious blue pills. Did I click on something that I wasn't meant to click on there? Because I suddenly feel like my uh, items changed. Okay, this is excellent. Stench killer. Grab it. And spray it. Now they can't smell me. I can't remember how long that lasts. But it's a godsend, it really is. Okay, I'm still feeling sick and weak. I need another medipack. But I was able to heal up slightly, so... Oh, let's change that from slightly to considerably. Doom. Bandages as well. Bandages don't heal your infection, but they do heal your body. Hold on, was that another medikit I saw? No, but I see no reason not to uh, grab full health there. Jake's stench killer lasts three hours. Thank you. That's just the kind of information that's going to keep Oscar O'Brien alive. Maybe I'm carrying around too much. We'll ditch some bullets just so that I have the extra space to pick things up. Because you lose a turn when you drop something. So it's probably better just to have that flexibility. Rather than just yet more items. Because... Because I say so. Equip and spray. And... Yeah, okay. I take back what I said already. I would rather have the... Uh, the extra health on me. Let's top up our light source and there we go. Achievement powered the Char Underground facility. Congratulations. Personal uh, message from the game developer. Sorry, the rest of the plot is missing. For now, it's a dead end. 
Enjoy the rest of the game. See you in the next game version. Five out of eight achievements. I think the three achievements that I don't have is uh, finding the Führer, finding the thing in the sewer, and finding Duckman? Uh, not so sure. So we'll finish it off by making our escape from the Char Underground facility because the music is great. And, uh, yeah, let's cure this infection. Like I said, infection pills, one of the rarest things to find. There are some items that it's not even worth calling them rare because they're only one off, like Jason's axe that we have here. Half of it is covered up by the chat, but the map for this place is enormous. I think it's even bigger than a, uh, than a whole, um, building area. Oh, snap. Get hit by a spooky skeleton on the way out. Fortunately for us, skeletons don't infect. So if this was a storyline, then we have managed to uh, escape uninfected. Here, eat grenade, you slow piece of crap. Okay, we win. That was Rogue Survivor. Hope you enjoyed it at least half as much as I did. Oscar O'Brien has, uh, well, we kind of have to fill in the plot points, but let's just say he saved the day only to find that mankind is its own worst enemy. Unable to live with himself in this, he surrounds himself with grenades and just says, good fight, good night. Don't often read through the post-mortem, so Oscar O'Brien was a man and a civilian. He survived to see day 19, hour 5. Oscar O'Brien's spirit guided him for 1 hour, 15 minutes and 1 second. We have a difficult rating of 107%. And we get a whole bunch of points. The number is kind of meaningless. Achievements, we reached day 7 and day 14. We broke into a Char Underground facility, uh, broke into a Char office, and we powered the Char Underground facility, but we did not reach something, something, and we did not kill something. Actually, there might be an achievement for day 21, but the others are just running into things. Death, death by explosion for 57 damage in the business district. Good on us. Killed 11 skeletons, one serial killer, one woman, 25 red skeletons. Four zombie masters, four zombified men, three shamblers, 27 rats. Two shamblers, three princes, three dark-eyed shamblers, two red-eyed skeletons, and two char guards. And I committed two murders. Okay, one of them was uh, the woman in the hospital. But I also... The only other guy I killed was a char on the ground uh, officer guy who was sleeping. I guess he would have killed or tried to kill me if he saw me, but I guess that still counts as murder in this guy's moral compass. Fun facts. I died and others are having fun. The oldest living survivor was me, followed by Private Stanley Collins, a National Guard in the business district. There have been enemies that have survived since day zero. Huh. Mostly in Char Underground Facility, you'd have to go on a real killing rampage to kill everyone that spawned on day zero. Our skills were pretty good, had an inventory. Nobody followed us, that was one regret. I was hoping to grab a follower before going underground, but I don't think I got any leadership, even options. Or if I did, I was so uh, infatuated by other options. So we had uh, difficulty from um, permadeath, large maps... I'm not sure what difference a simulation makes. Rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace, for his body is now a meal for evil. The end. And yeah, Oscar O'Brien, my new highest score, he beats Jake O'Brien. GG. <laughs> and the explosion finishes off twice over. 
And all the uh, grenades in my inventory also explode. That is Rogue Survivor. I love that game. And the night is young, so we're going to carry on with Europa Universalis. I'll take the stream down for just a minute before that. <laughs> 